What has God already gifted you with? Find out in today's devotional. So we're starting something new. This is January 1st, 2022. And we're gonna try, and I want some feedback. I wanna see if this is something that's blessing you guys. So if it is, I wanna encourage you, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, that kind of stuff, so we, we know if we should continue. But we're starting off here, just going verse by verse through the book of Matthew in our regular devotions. So. I want to encourage you to to start with some prayer yourself personally talking to God I honestly when I first get up I'll write some stuff down some notes of of questions or thoughts that I might have that I'm talking to God about and then get into the word a little bit and write down notes of things he might be sharing with me and then spend some time in prayer at the end and listening God really wants to speak to you the creator of the entire universe wants to talk to you about what's going on in your life today and that's what's so cool when we actually stop and take the time and listen because he really wants to talk many people say well if God would just come down and talk to me what if he already is what if he already is trying to talk to you but we're keeping our ears shut or we're just not willing to actually stop and say okay god how do you want to talk to me um think of uh an earthly one think of the queen of england right um if you want to go and talk to her do you ask her to come to your house do you say hey this is what time is good for me queenie you know why don't you come around you know eight or nine o'clock no we we go to her we find out the proper procedures we do it her way well we need to stop and say god how do you want to talk to me and if this is the way you want to talk to me help me to listen and it's very clear the bible is one of the best ways that God wants to talk to you and to me very clearly. So we're going to get in. We're not going to go through a huge scripture this morning. We're just in Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. And that's as far as we're going to get today. So it says, The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So, when I was thinking about this, I was, I was reading through and I was praying. And you know what? Uh, um, who wrote this? Who wrote this book? Well, most people agree that this was Matthew. That's why it's got the name, the book of Matthew. Uh, um, Matthew was, he didn't always used to be called Matthew. He used to be called Levi, Levi the tax collector. And so in that culture, a tax collector, Levi, he was Jewish. And so the Romans didn't like him because he was Jewish. But as a tax collector, that meant he was working for the Romans, which meant all of the Jews didn't like him. And so a tax collector really didn't have too many friends. Uh, um, actually, they had lots and lots of enemies. Uh, um, and this is who Matthew was. And so, without too many friends, he's sitting there in his tax booth, and Jesus comes along, and Jesus calls him out of what he is doing to be Matthew. And here's the interesting thing that I was noticing about this. Matthew doesn't leave behind who he was. God had already prepared him. God had already given him this, maybe it's not a spiritual talent, but it is this physical talent, this thing that he could do. You know, he had a pen in hand 
and paper. He was very good at keeping notes, very good at keeping track of all of these taxes and all these goods that were changing hands and doing this stuff and coming in and coming out. This is who Matthew was. Well, now he has called. He's like, here, I want you to write down the things that are happening. I want you to be very detailed. Matthew is one of the most detailed of the Gospels, probably because he was taking notes along the way. This is who he was. Think back Old Testament. Think of Moses. God literally asked Moses, Moses, what is that in your hand? Well, it's the shepherd's rod. And God said, good, I want you to use that. And I want you to lead my people. I want you to shepherd my people. He said to David, young David, hey, David, what's that in your hand? Well, I don't know, it's, it's just a slingshot. God said, yes, I want you to use that. I want to use that to destroy the giants. So the question is, what is in your hand? What is in my hand? What has God already been working in our life? Maybe it was our before we're saved life and he has developed some kind of talent in you that he wants to now use for his glory. Maybe it's something after you've been saved and he's been slowly crafting and developing. Use it for the Lord. That's what, to me, that's what this section is like. We're moving into 2022, right? Let's make this year count. Let's use whatever things, maybe it's something you desire, maybe it's something you'd love to do. Maybe it's mountain biking or painting or uh, um, I don't know, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, use it for the Lord. Whatever you feel gifted at doing, use it for the Lord. And let's see what God can do through our lives this year. So I want to encourage you in the comments below. And when you're doing comments, be sure and go to the YouTube version of it so that they're all in one spot. And put in the comments below, you know, your prayers, your requests, and what God's speaking to you today with your devotions or through this section as well. I sure love you guys.